Hi, and welcome to Village Pilates Studios weekly YouTube series. Today I'm with Julia Hamptonstall, who is an instructor here at Village Pilates Studio in Oak Park. My name is Regan Hurster, I'm the owner here, and today we're going to be demonstrating Russian squats. So each week we're breaking down an exercise and um, classical and archival exercises and giving you the historical purpose of the exercise as well as how to do the exercise and harness the, the equipment and the springs when available um, to get the most breath and movement potential out of the exercise. So this particular exercise, Russian squats, is definitely an advanced exercise and I think one of the most advanced exercises in Pilates. Not because of how physically demanding it is, although it is a physically difficult exercise, but mostly it is so challenging because of the control needed to be aware and have control over the equipment when you're moving. So I would just say to start off that when we do Russian squats, you don't want to think of it as an arm movement or to pull too hard or too fast with the arms, but instead to really move it more from your squat. So it's called Russian squats. Okay, so we'll start, we'll ask Julia to stand on the reformer facing the shoulder blocks. So she'll squat down about in the middle of the carriage, trying to get her heels as grounded as possible. So it really depends on the flexibility in her um, Achilles ankle if she can get her heels down, but she's trying to get her heels as grounded as possible. She holds on to the shoulder blocks. I'm going to take it to two light springs. So I'm going to choose a yellow and a blue for her. If it's too heavy, I feel the temptation to pull with your arms is going to be greater. If it's too light, you don't have substantial support. So we're going to go with a yellow and a blue for Julia. She's going to reach for her handles and brace with them around her wrists and slowly start to walk her hands towards the chrome buttons until the carriage actually begins to move a little bit. So she wants to have enough tension that she can start grounded on her heels. Okay, so there's her starting position, which is very precarious. Her heels are down. The carriage is actually a little bit open, like I said. So now to do the exercise, she's going to inhale, ground her heels, squeeze her sit bones, and stand upright. As she stands upright, the carriage moves. And then exhale to lower down as deeply as she can keep her heels grounded. And again, inhale, initiate from the heels pushing down, the sit bones engaging, exhaling to lower as deeply as she can keep her heels grounded. So as she moves, she's trying to track her knees straight over her middle toes. She's trying to keep her head and her shoulders back against an imaginary wall, but only as much as she can control that. And exhale. So we do about five to eight of these. So I'm just going to give her one more, more advanced cue. Now you can start to really bring your breath into it. You have the control and feel the arms as a part now of the movement. So as you squat, the arms will gradually get escorted up. And as she stands, gradually the arms will get pulled towards her. So she wants to just remember that the arms are following the movement, but you can feel now as you're starting to gain that awareness and control that the arms are moving maybe a little bit more organically with the movement of the legs. And then she can carefully close the carriage, put her handles back on the post. She'll step off to the side. And I really wouldn't take a deep breath as an instructor and know the exercise is done until she really steps off of the carriage. So she did a great job demonstrating a very advanced exercise, Russian squats. Definitely have your teacher teach this to you first. I wouldn't experiment with it on your own at home or at the studio. So have someone professional help you with this first. So thanks again, Julia, for demonstrating Russian squats. And we'll see you next Monday demonstrating another exercise. Thanks.